Mm. Mm. Definitely frothy. In what world am I getting instant satisfaction here? Hello, today we're going to be trying each other's instant coffees. We'll rate them out of 10 and whoever has the highest score will be the winner. I'm a caffeine addict and that's because this is pretty much my default state. I'm always tired. Australia has a lot of coffee snobs, but I think that instant coffee has a time and place. What I like about instant coffee is that it's instant. Instant coffee is a super underappreciated, looked down upon drink. The aroma needs to be inviting, so I need to be able to go yeah, that's the spot. So my instant coffee, it's called Old Town Coffee and it's also referred to as a three-in-one. It means it's got your coffee, it's got your milk and it's got your sugar. No additions needed. It's got a really nice sweet taste to it. It's really like creamy and smooth. We have Old Town Road white coffee. No, Old Town Road, that sums a song. One step, pour in hot water, stir. That's, that's me, baby. This is a big boy satchel. Like, satchel? Fuck, <laughs> it's your fault. I'm guessing it's like milk, coffee, sugar. 180 calories. You can see it's got all of the stuff that it needs already. That is a hefty amount <laughs> for this glass. It's quite hot. It is a bit mm. hot. <laughs> This is really good. It's just very sweet. I think the simplicity of it, the aroma, the taste, it's nailing it for me. It's like the kind of coffee I would want, like when I'm at the ski field. This is something that I would go put in a number of cups, pour the hot water in when people came over, I'd do it in the kitchen without letting them see. They'd just love it, but it all comes from a freaking packet. Probably I don't see myself having this all the time. This is getting like an 8 out of 10. 8.0 on the dot. I'm going to give this a 9.5. So my instant coffee order is a homemade iced latte on oat milk with a dash of vanilla. I hope my coffee order will win because it's refreshing, it's sweet, it's not bitter, uh, and you can have it for any occasion. Ice, amazing. This is how I like to drink my coffee. Looks beautiful, looks like a perfume. In what world? Am I getting instant satisfaction here? This is like an espresso coffee. Okay, I don't think that counts. So we've got the hot coffee and then that's gonna go on the ice. Next is the milk. Around that much. Okay. Oh, that might have been too much syrup there. I think that's too much syrup. <laughs> I think so. Doesn't syrup like super sweet. The ice is melting quite a lot, so that means it's going to water down the coffee. Ooh. Yeah, it's super vanilla-y, super sweet, but that's really nice. I drink my coffee black usually, so this is probably not helping with my marking criteria. It just kind of tastes a bit bitter, a bit burnt, and a bit watery. The only thing I don't like is that it's really sweet, which is my own fault. The coffee tastes great, but it tastes great because it's used with coffee grounds. It's not instant coffee. Borderline non-instant. I really like this. I can't find a flaw in it. It's got a great balance of milk and coffee and everything, so I'm gonna give it a 10. Probably gonna have to give this one a six out of 10. We do have a lot of dirty dishes at the end of this, and Unfortunately, it's not instant, so this one is kind of getting like a 4 out of 10. I've got the flavorful iced instant coffee for your refreshment. I use Makona. I think that's the best instant coffee brand that you can get. Kind of sprinkle of cinnamon. I drink it iced and just with like a splash of oat milk. And my instant coffee is the best because it's refreshing and it's delicious. Like it's actually good. We have yet another science experiment. Cinnamon is amazing. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon can go on anything, could go on my Fruit Loops. Let's get this going. I need two spoons of that. Oops. And then I'm gonna add a dash of hot water. This is like physical labor. Ooh, this person uses oat milk and that means that the milk makes it very dark still. Regular milk would dilute this a lot more. So maybe it's gonna be a strong coffee. Mmm. Gosh, what is with these bitter tastes? Watery. Coffee, um, not a slave of some. This coffee would be really good to just smack you in the face and wake you up. Like, I'm gonna have such big jitters after this. This is a grower. Not a shower. This is not a shower, this is a grower. 
I could probably relate to it. I'm gonna go seven for this, because it's not too bad. A 5.8. Seven out of 10. Don't think it's good enough for a six, and I don't think it's bad enough for a 5.5. That's why I've gone for the 5.8. My favorite instant coffee is a Nescafe hazelnut latte, just like a really nice cappuccino with a hazelnut twist. It's easy and it's pretty similar to like a restaurant or cafe quality coffee. This is like the stuff you find in like hotels, like when you, it's like in the thing with the teas and stuff and you just never touch it because you're like scared of it. Now, I don't like hazelnut. I also love this description, creamy and frothy. This one says, hold firmly here and tear across. Love it. I like Nutella. Nutella's made with hazelnuts, so if this tastes like Nutella, it's gonna be amazing. It smells like a Milky Way. <laughs> Definitely frothy. Mmm, I love it. <laughs> okay, that's the worst one. <laughs> the hazelnut adds just enough of a kick to it that you can taste it really well and it doesn't overpower it. The Nespresso coffee with the vanilla syrup was better but this had a lot less steps involved. It's really sweet, um, very, like I'm not a massive hazelnut fan. I'm gonna have to give this one a six as well. Soz. A 6.8. I'm going to rank this one a nine out of 10. Just basically it needs to be stronger. Yeah, I'm the winner. Thank you. <laughs> We're trying each other's favorite instant coffee. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing.